Hey everybody, Jason here. In this video, we're gonna have a look at how to tie the easy and popular fishtail paracord bracelet. All right, so let's head on into the work table and take a look. To tie your fishtail paracord bracelet, you'll need some paracord, a paracord buckle, a pair of scissors, and a lighter. To begin, you're going to cut your length of paracord. Depending on your wrist size, you'll need between eight to 10 feet of paracord. I'm gonna use nine feet or 274 centimeters. With the paracord cut to size, we'll use our lighter to melt the ends to prevent them from fraying and to make the paracord easier to work with. Now that we have our paracord cut to length, we'll find the middle and prepare to attach the buckle. I'm using a medium sized buckle, but you could use a small one and it would work just fine. To attach the paracord buckle, I'm gonna feed the center of my paracord through the top of the buckle and then pass the paracord around the buckle as shown to create a lark's head or girth hitch knot. From there, I'm gonna pass my two ends of paracord through the top of the other side of the buckle to create a loop. It's important to ensure your two sides of paracord aren't crossed and that you don't have any weird twist in your lines. Now simply pass your hand through the loop and adjust the size of your bracelet. Once you have your desired fit, unclasp the buckle and be sure to maintain the length. I'm going to be using a paracord bracelet jig to tie the fishtail weave. It'll help keep my hands out of the way of the camera so you can see what I'm doing. The jig isn't necessary. This is an easy paracord bracelet pattern that you can do freehand. If you have a bracelet jig, be sure to adjust the length so your bracelet fits into your jig properly. I'm including a link in the description for the resources you need to make this bracelet. So if you're interested in the bracelet jig, you can find where to get one there. Now that I have the bracelet attached to the jig, I'll get started with the fishtail weave. We're gonna start on the left and pass our left strand over our left center cord and then under our right center cord as shown. Then we'll pass our right strand over our right center cord and then under our left center cord. Again, our left strand passes over our left center cord and then under our right center cord. Followed by our right strand over our right center cord and then under our left center cord. As we follow this pattern, we'll need to adjust and tighten our weave by simply pushing our weave upwards on our core strands and then continue to add more weaves and then adjust when needed. From here, we'll continue to weave the fishtail knot pattern in the same way we began. Left strand passes over our left center cord and then under our right center cord, followed by our right strand over our right center cord and then under our left center cord, and adjusting the tightness between the weaves as we go. There are many other paracord bracelet weave patterns. If you're interested in seeing others, I'd recommend you start with the original paracord bracelet pattern I'll add a link in the description and also at the end of this video. For now, let's continue working our way to complete the fishtail paracord bracelet.
Once we reach near the end, it starts to get a little bit tight. It's easy if we change the way we weave by threading the end. At this stage, we can also push our last couple weaves up along the core strands to provide a little bit more space. With our final weaves done, we can now readjust the weaves by pulling them back along the core strands and adjusting the tightness. It's time for me to remove the paracord bracelet from the jig and I'll show you how to finish it off. With the bracelet off the jig, I'm going to loosen the last weave on each side so I can pass my ends through before tightening it back up. This is going to provide a bit more strength and security so your finished end won't come out. If you'd like, you can pass it under more than one weave, but I think it's unnecessary. With my working ends now under the last loop, I'm just gonna cinch it up nice and tight. From here, the last thing to do is to trim the ends with our scissors. I like to leave a good few millimeters so I have a bit of space away from the bracelet when I use my lighter, but also so I can get a decent amount of paracord to melt and adhere, hoping to hold the ends in place. Whether you're using a fancy lighter like this one or a common lighter, take care not to burn the side of your bracelet or your fingertips. When you're finished, you should have a fishtail paracord bracelet that looks something like this. So there you have it, the fishtail paracord bracelet. Now, as promised, here's a link to my video for the original survival paracord bracelet. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Alright? Thanks for watching.